If I just record this, this will be good. So once again, low angles going forward, okay? Very, very important. Now at the temple, what you're seeing here, this transition, is that, look at this. Do you see how the hair angles go down like this? Okay, they come down like this. But if you look carefully at the transition point, they gradually fan down, okay? So just at this lateral point, otherwise all these hairs go forward. Right here, they start to turn down. And if you look at the temple here, what you're seeing, we move back just a little bit, is that it goes down like this, and then if you come to the front angle of the temple here, let's go to the temple point here. If you look at this temple point here, you can see that they go straight back down this way, right? And they're going very flat. Look how flat that is. This is why you're going to hear a hundred times, do not create temporal points in probably your first five years of your practice, because these will look stick, sticking up. And they'll look like crazy, okay? You'll look like Dumbo with hair. It's absolutely unforgiving. So this is an area that do not create this. You'll hear this a thousand times in the lab, etc. You're not going to make any temporal points today. But these angles go straight back. Okay, they go down like this. And then look at the sideburn. Do you see they go down this way? So no abrupt transitions going down like this, sweeping down, and then down this way. Okay? So and now let's look at this this lateral hump across the side here. If you look at it, if you look at it, they go now he's combing it back a little bit, but these hair angles, if you look at them, they go straight down here. Can you see that? On this and remember this is a lateral crease, the transition. Uh, where is that lateral crease transition? It's at the lateral uh, sorry, the lateral canthus, all right? And that lateral canthus is what you're going to hear from Parsa talking about the design of where the hairline ends and the temporal hair begins. So that's where that transition goes when you draw the hairline. you hear that again in a few minutes. So what you're seeing is this goes straight down, and these areas here curve like this, okay? They're curving down. And so then, then when you come to the front, they turn backwards. So these little transitions, and, and in the lab, I would welcome you to come up and look at each other's scalps so you understand this, and go home and study scalps. The more scalps you study, the better it's gonna be. Now, we're gonna go to the crown area here. Okay, he's got, I, the best is a short hair person, beca because the long hair is, I have to sort of reveal the scalp exit angles when we go up closer here. So if you look carefully, in this world, let's see where the, here it is. Here's the center of the world, okay? And there's all the, sometimes you get double worlds, sometimes you get single worlds. This world, if you look very carefully at it, is it in focus? Yeah, it's, so you can see that the exit angle, this is coming out like this, going up, going down. Can you see this? Now, what's important is not only the crown going down, I want you to look at the transition from the crown. The crown transitioning to the mid scalp lateral hump also has no abrupt transition. So if you look at this, it radiates over this way, and then down, and then back down like this. On this one here, it goes up like this. Now tilt back and make sure you can still see the, can you still see the uh, this presentation up there? Okay, so if you look here, this is important too, is that this transition goes like this, and then comes down. This transition goes up and over. This transition goes up, and over, so there are no trend. There, this doesn't go. And you saw it in, on, on Tim's recipient size. If you paid attention when he was starting to show that, is that these don't even abruptly change. Everything curves and joins each other. So this is very, very, very important. I've got some of these old videos with shorter hair people on YouTube that you can take a look at to really understand this a little better. And the same thing occurs on this side. So hopefully that is a good sort of brief understanding of uh, design when it comes to how hair grows on the scalp.